Whoever can accept this oath to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel today would speak about the sanctity of marriage and the wisdom of the very words of Jesus when he said, For what God has joined together, let no man separate. It speaks of two things, the unity aspect and the permanence, which is a lifetime commitment into the marriage life. And this is putting order to the family in which we know the great effects of divorce into family relationship. This is a hard saying, as Jesus mentioned our gospel today. The very last part of the gospel, it says, whoever can accept this oath to accept it. It may be a hard saying or reminder for those who are struggling with their marriage life, where we see in here that our Lord Jesus Christ is reminding husband and wife to remain faithful and as much as possible not to divorce or not to separate. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. It is a reminder for, our, for all husband and wife to always think of the family and for the sake of the children and the effect that it may bring and cause, especially among children. There are a lot of the divorced husbands, wives, or divorced, divorced spouses or couples that we see the great effects of this in their children and the sense of order in the family relationship. But then, my dear brothers and sisters, the words of Jesus today when he said, therefore what God has joined together, man must not separate, is a reminder for all couples to live in the life of a life of faithfulness. And secondly, one who chooses to enter into this kind of life of, or of one who finally decided to enter to this kind of marital relationship would always remind him, himself or herself that this is a life of lifetime commitment, a promise of life. And that one has to be decided fully, not wholeheartedly. And mar mar marriage is a choice which is coming from a decisive, decisive decision or decisive option or a choice that has been well discerned and well thought of. That is why it must be a love that is coming from the sincerity of one's intention and desire. Which is, this is a reminder for all couples that their love must be sincere. Their love must be truth. Their love must be that of the love described by St. Paul. A love that is so true, a love that is willing to forgive, a love that is willing to understand, a love that is willing to take everything, to endure everything, and to embrace everything. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, even pointed out that among the Pharisees themselves, they have misunderstood when they said, why is it 
that Moses command the man give a woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus right in there told the Pharisees, because you have this hardness of heart and stubbornness of spirit. In which, my dear brothers and sisters, yes, it's true. We would like to justify and make it a point that divorce or separation of spouses are acceptable in our society. But right in there, we see that the very beginning, our Lord Jesus Christ is reminding all couples, spouses, the very importance of willingness to decide before getting or entering into the marriage life. This is also a reminder, my dear friends, to all couples, to all husband and wife, to always look at the marriage, not just a simple or simply a contract, which has what we call uh, expiration date. But marriage is a covenant between you and God. When it says a covenant, this is a lifetime commitment. Secondly, marriage is a sacred the sanctity of marriage, which is shared, nourished by love and self-giving and faithfulness. And that is, one must be willing to accept everything, embrace everything, and most especially to love with all sincerity coming from the heart. That is why couples must always learn to be humble, to be patient, and to be what we call, my dear brothers and sisters, enduring, must have this love that is so enduring, willingly to accept, willingly to understand, and willingly to humble oneself. Love that is enduring, which is willingly to, to endure and understand and humble. I think this is a reminder for all couples that accepting that one is not perfect, one is not perfect, and everyone needs understanding and acceptance and support. That is why Jesus said that two are no, the, there are no longer two, but one flesh. And lastly, my dear friends, the true love of the couple, the true love of the husband and wife, is always seen in their willingness to sacrifice and to bear all things. And this is the true love. That whatever happens, my dear friends, you, husband and wife, must willing to bear everything, to suffer, to sacrifice. Because sacrifice and bearing everything is a true sense of love for the couple, for the husband and the wife. And truly enough, this will make the relationship long-lasting. Amen. Please stand. Jesus taught the relationship between 